What's up, my loves? It's your boy, Simple Food by T. Well, okay, look, let's talk about it. First of all, I look crazy. And I'm also gonna look crazy in this video because I'm about to show y'all the vlog of me getting this whole wisdom teeth situation under control. I look high throughout the majority of the video, which, <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm not promoting drugs. But what, we're, what we are gonna do is we're gonna have a part one and a part two. We have to have a part one and a part two. Because I didn't realize how much I actually vlogged. I, honest to God, thought I only filmed like one video. And apparently I was vlogging a majority of the time. At least the days after I got the procedure done. So I want to show you guys all of that so that you guys will kind of have a gist of what it would be like if you still need to get your wisdom teeth out. And, you know, things that I did to prevent my face from swelling and all of that. Um, but like I said, there's going to be a part one and a part two. Because part two is going to be me telling y'all why I almost walked the hell out. Okay. And I think I might have mentioned it in the middle of the vlog while I was high as a kite. I might have. But uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to do a part two because the part two deserves an entire video by itself. So y'all sit back, enjoy this video, and I will see y'all later on. Just know that this is all old clips, okay? These are videos from back in like the fall. I don't know why the hell I did not put this video out ages ago, but it is what it is. So enjoy. Whipping up all of your favorite recipes Simply Food You should know by now that you're in for a treat Simply Food There's no other channel where you'd rather be Simply Food Seafood, pasta, cakes, and pies Sing and laugh and even cry Like, like and share and hit subscribe Simply Food by T.Y. Good morning, y'all. It is currently 7.50. My appointment is at 8.30. Um, I've gotten up, got myself together, haven't had any damn thing to drink. Of course, you know, this was the easy part. Although I will say <clears throat> that the not being able to eat eight hours beforehand, I could care less about that. It was the not being able to drink anything because I always find myself needing water in the middle of the night. So that was a little bit annoying, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so it is almost time to get ready to head to the doctor's office. Um, I'm recording on my phone um, and we'll see, you know, what else I record as the days go by. Um, I'm only getting two of my wisdom teeth out. My other two um, are already gone. So, you know, I won't be in full face of pain. It'll be more so like a one side of my mouth type situation. But I'm sure it's still going to be annoying and I'm sure it's still going to be painful. So we'll see, child. All right, I'll talk to y'all soon. All right, you guys, I've just gotten checked in. I'm in the back room. The doctor's about to come in and talk to me. So I guess the next time you guys will see me, my mouth is going to be jacked up, honey. Wish me luck. Okay, you guys. Oh my god, I look terrible. All right, y'all. So they've taken the teeth out. So they put me on laughing gas. They didn't put me to sleep. Um, so I will update you guys in a few minutes and let you know what's going on later in the day. Hey, what's up, y'all? Okay, so uh, the teeth are out. Um, at the moment, my mouth is slightly numb, but. I don't really feel any pain. I am currently on my way to the store to pick up my medication. So I will update you all a little bit later on. So I am currently in the bed, um, resting. I've taken my first bit of medicine. Um, so I'm just gonna chill for a while. I got an ice pack on my face just to prevent any, you know, swelling, stuff like that. Um, clearly I have a list, which is hilarious, but, um, you know, the procedure was quick and painless. Um, I'm going to fill you guys in on why I almost left, um, because the doctor pissed me off, but we'll talk about that later on. So for now, just going to chill out, rest, watch some movies, um, yeah, talk to y'all. I don't know when to. Hi, my loves. So it is currently around eight o'clock. Um, this is day one. So this is the day that I got my wisdom teeth taken out. Um, as you can see, I can kind of talk a little bit better now. 
Um, luckily, um, I haven't really dealt with that much swelling, but I think that's because I've been um, icing pretty much all day. Like I wasn't about to wait for it to swell and then do the ice. I've just been doing the ice no matter what. I haven't really dealt with any pain. Um, I've been taking my medicine every four hours. Um, I just took my last one, so hopefully this will really hold me through the night. Um, if not, if I feel worried, um, you know, I'll take another one close to around 1 a.m., you know, before I go to bed. Um, but yeah, so this is day one. I'm feeling fine. I'm interested to see what the morning will feel like, you know, what day two will feel like. Um, typically, they say the most painful day is the first day. Um, so I guess that's a good thing. Um, hopefully it just stays this way. Like, hopefully, you know, I don't deal with any pain. I'm being very mindful of what I'm eating. That's for sure. Um, I did not get stitches in my mouth. So I need to be extra, extra careful with what I consume. Because even though this side of my mouth, I didn't get any work done. You don't want to risk food going into the sockets. You know what I mean? So I have to be careful and not be reckless so either way i'm waiting a good week or two before i really get out of control um so in the morning uh for breakfast i'm probably gonna have a pretty big smoothie um you know i'll probably put some peanut butter or something in it to really hold me over and then probably have some mashed potatoes or something for lunch um and then I might attempt to have soup for dinner. Um, but yeah, so far everything's going well. Um, I will see you guys in the morning for day two post wisdom tooth extraction. What's up y'all? Um, it is currently 8.30 in the morning. Um, it is day two Whew. post wisdom teeth extraction. Um, I took my last pain pill at around 7.30, 8 o'clock last night. I was able to make it through the entire night without any pain. Um, I'm still currently not in any pain. Um, but today begins the salt water rinse. As you can see, I still have like a lisp. Um, I think because I can feel the gap in the back of my mouth. So it's just making my mouth feel very weird and awkward um so it's not pain it's just a really weird uncomfortable feeling there's a lot more saliva than normal um but like i said today begins the salt water rinse today will also be the first day that i attempt to have you know three separate meals um last night was probably more of a nausea thing that kind of threw me off. I started to feel very nauseous. Um, and I think that's because I had took four of those oxycodone throughout the day, but I barely ate food yesterday. So today I'm going to, I think I'm gonna to try to hold off for as long as I can. My goal is to wait until at least 12 o'clock before I take my first pill. I don't know if that's gonna happen, especially because the area might get irritated once I eat breakfast, um, because I would like to limit myself to only taking two of the oxycodone today versus four. I wanna kinda of start to cut back on them. Um, I also have Motrin. I might actually just try to take my Motrin today instead of the oxycodone and see if I can make it a day with taking the Motrin instead of, um, but we'll see. Um, but beyond that, oh my God, you can hear my mouth is like pooling with liquid. Um, beyond that, I feel good. I'm gonna go downstairs and try to have some breakfast and, you know, see what happens. Um, that's about it. Talk to y'all soon. So I know some of you guys were wondering what I was going to be able to eat because they said that I might not be able to have, you know, solid food for about, maybe about a week or two. So I picked up two of the slow style creamy broccoli cheddar and bisque, which I really learned was kind of a mistake. I tried to have one of those 
and there are big chunks of broccoli, so I really could only eat the broth. I haven't had the tomato bisque yet, but clearly that's completely blended. I got two things of chicken broth, a lot of bags of mashed potatoes, some Pedialyte, some banana, um, like baby food, cream of wheat, which I already had. I got a 12 pack of Ensure, and then I also got some um, Greek yogurts, but pretty much this is kind of going to be what my diet will consist of for the next couple of days, if not week and a half. Eventually, I will try to incorporate, you know, egg noodles and uh, scrambled eggs. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Good morning, you guys. So it is day three. Uh, my mouth still feels very strange. Um, I'm not in pain. Today is the first day that I'm going to try to not take any pain medication and just see how it goes. Because um, I'm not really one that likes to be on a bunch of pills. Um, but I am about to attempt to eat two scrambled eggs and two pieces of Spam. It's probably going to take me an hour to eat it because I'm going to have to chew it really slowly and on the side of my mouth. But... I want to try to find ways to incorporate soft foods back into my diet at least one meal a day just so that I can kind of cut some of the hunger. Um, but yeah, I'm doing great. Um, I think I'm on the right path. And yeah, I'll let you guys know how this breakfast goes because I could probably get one bite in and that might be it. See, I told y'all I looked crazy as hell in the video. But look, I know that ended kind of abruptly. But like I said, I am going to be doing a part two. But all in all, you guys, the experience as far as the pain and all of that days after was totally fine. Totally fine. My advice is, you know, to make sure that you are using preemptive measures by making sure that you are icing your face immediately. Don't wait for it to swell up. You know what I'm saying? Wean yourself off of the medication as quickly as you possibly can. Um, that's what I did. Uh, but yeah, it was it was fine. It was no big deal. About a week and a half later, I will say, is when I started to incorporate um, a little bit more solid foods. It wasn't until about maybe two and a half, three weeks when I could just eat regularly because I had to be very, very cautious because, again, I didn't have stitches. So, you know, it takes a long time for that hole to close up. But, uh, but yeah, it was cool. Uh, make sure y'all come back next week so that I can tell y'all why the hell I almost cussed the damn doctor out. <sighs> because it was it, it was a hot mess but look i love you guys so much thank y'all so much for watching this vlog y'all baby stay cute and take care bye guys slaying in the kitchen simply food by ty we hope that you enjoyed it simply food by ty if you haven't took the time make sure you subscribe thanks for watching thanks for watching thanks for watching simply food